Welcome to QNE Software, a GST compliant accounting software for your company. In this video, I will talk about QNE Optimum installation in network environment. You can find the article in the URL below. During the installation, there are two main parts. The first is installing QNE Optimum at the server or standalone computer. And the second is installing QNE Optimum client at workstation PC. For the first part, there are three subparts. The first is to install the SQL Server Configuration Manager. The second is to add SQL TCP ports in Windows Firewall. And the third part is creating a share folder in C or D drive. Now let's begin the installation. Before we proceed for the installation, you will have to first check your Windows system type by right-clicking on the My Computer and go into Properties. You can check the system type for this computer is 64-bit operating system. And now insert the QNE Software Installer DVD in your DVD drive and then open up Windows Explorer. Double-click on Setup X64 if your computer system type is 64-bit operating system. Other than that, kindly click on Setup X86 file. Click Yes when prompted to allow the following program. In the Select Setup Language screen, we will be using English for this installation. Then click Next when the Setup Welcome screen appears. Click Next to install QNE software in the default C drive. Else, you can select other destinations by clicking on the Browse button. As for now, I will install it in my C drive. And then click Next again. In the Installation option page, you should select Full Installation which consists of three components and then click Next. Now the installer will automatically install all the three components. Right now, it is installing the SQL Server. The installer will show you the server name, SQL username, and password. Remain the details and click on Next. This window prompts you on where do you want to put the shortcut. The installer is now installing the database engine which is Microsoft SQL Server. If you refer to this website here, it shows the comparison between Firebird SQL and Microsoft SQL. Firebird is ranking at 26, whereas Microsoft SQL Server is ranking at number 3 among the top database engines. The installation of Microsoft SQL Server will take a longer time compared to Firebird SQL Server since it is more powerful. Please also take note that the requirements of Microsoft SQL Server is also higher than Firebird SQL Server. Now the system is installing the QNE Business Solutions.
After completing the installation, the installer will ask you if you would like to launch the QA Business Solution as well as launch the service registration. Select these two boxes and click on Finish. Now QA Optimum will start up. This is the database wizard screen. Now I will show you how to create the sample database. Click on create button. Select sample database. Let's name this sample company. In the server name field, select the correct server name. And I will name this database sample db001. Click on the Validate button. If the connection is successful, this message will appear. Now click on OK, then Next. Double check the details and click on Next. Now the system is creating the database. Finally, click on Finish. At the QA server, there is only three parts that needs to be configured in order to allow QA client to connect to QA server. Go to Start and search for SQL Server Configuration Manager. Then, at the left-hand side panel, select SQL Server Network Configuration and click on Protocols for QA BSS. In the right-hand side panel, double-click on TCP IP. Note that if TCP IP is disabled, kindly enable it by right-click, select Enable. Now, if you open up the TCP IP, this window will appear. Click on the IP Address tab at the IP All section. Clear off the TCP dynamic ports number and fill in 1433 TCP port and click on Apply. Now, to add the SQL TCP ports in Windows Firewall, open up Windows Firewall. And go to Advanced Settings. In the Inbound Rules, right click and select New Rule. Select on Port and then click Next. Make sure you have selected TCP and fill in the specific local ports number 1433. Then click on Next. Select Allow the connection because we would like to allow the QA program to access the server using this port. Then click on Next. Remember to click on all three types of networks and then click on Next. Let's name this port SQL Server Port 1433 TCP. Then click on Finish. As you can see, SQL port 1433 TCP has been created. Now we will have to create another port using the number 25811. Finally, you will be able to see these two ports in the inbound rules list. In part 3, we will have to create a share folder in C or D drive. The purpose of creating a share folder is to make sure the network recover module is turned on and it allows you to do backup from the workstation. SQL Server requires the share folder to have read permission to store the temporary backup file and transfer it to the workstation. 
I will create my share file in C drive by right clicking and select new folder. We will have to name this folder to share. Right click on the newly created shared folder, go to share with and select on specific people. Type in everyone with read permission. Now click on share. Now we will go to the second main part of installing QNE Optimum Client at Workstation PC. Insert QNE Software Installer DVD in your DVD drive. Open up Windows Explorer. And double click on setup.exe. Note that setup installer does not contain SQL Server and the workstation does not require to install SQL Server. Use English as the setup language and then click next when the setup welcome screen appears. Click next to install QNE Server in the default C drive, else, click on browse to select other destinations. In the installation option page, change it to client installation and then click next. Upon completion, we should launch the QE business solution to ensure that it has been installed properly. In the database wizard, click on Append and fill up all the required fields as shown. For company name, we will put as test, else you can fill in your company name. For the server name, fill in the server name that is used by your company. If the workstation is able to detect the server, we will be able to search for the list of database. Then click on Test Connection. If it is successful, the successful message will pop up. Click on OK, then save. Now click on open to open the database. This is the login screen. Click on the online update button. The password is 9133237. If your QA business solutions is not updated, the system will prompt you for an update. It is advisable to get the latest update since the version in the city may not be the latest version. Now let's log in to the system. The username is admin with no password required. The system will prompt you for an upgrade. Click on upgrade. And finally, this is the main screen of QE Optimum, and it shows that you have successfully accessed to QE Optimum. Thank you for watching.